what is up everyone this is Sana Mix and today I got some topics that I would like to talk about in this video I want to talk about my preview of Destiny Rise of Iron how did I get into Destiny and a tribute to my friend and some very shocking news relating to a voice actor in Space Ghost now I want to leave some time descriptions here so if you're interested of this part of the video you can either click on the annotation or the description box below the time will take you right to that spot so in this first part I'm gonna do my preview of Destiny Rise of Iron Destiny Rise of Iron comes out this coming Tuesday September 20th of 2016 now I did a review of Destiny the Taken King if you want to take a look at that review you can check out my channel and find the Destiny Taken King. I'll probably leave an annotation somewhere. But long story short, I'm actually looking forward to Rise of Iron. Now, for those that have pre-ordered the game, like how I did, if you pre-ordered it at GameStop, you will receive the Iron Gallowhorn. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's an exotic weapon for rocket launcher. Looking forward to trying out the weapon. Hopefully it'll be a good rocket launcher. And from the story that I'm making now with Rise of Iron, it seems like this guy, which seemed like he was betrayed by his allies, wants to join you as the Guardian to basically fight back and take back on what originally was his. I think that's where the storyline is kind of going to. My preview, I hope the story will be good. I hope that there will be... I think there is going to be a new expansion from level 40 to 50. I think it's level 50 now. Hopefully the weapons will be good. And hopefully this is better, if not equal, to The Taken King. In my review of The Taken King, I enjoy The Taken King. So hopefully this will be about that level. If you looked at the trailer, you saw the new worlds, which looked very interesting. Also, the new monsters or the new enemies, which looked very interesting, and the bosses. So, hopefully, hopefully they go all out on this one. I don't know if this is going to be, like, the last DLC before Destiny 2. But if this is the last DLC before Destiny 2, I hope they go all out with it. And hopefully it will be worth the $40 that we have all spent for the DLC. Or if you're a completely new Destiny player and you want to go all out, then it will be $60 for the Legacy Edition. <clears throat> so, hope it's good. Hope the weapons are good. Hope it will be an, an exotic, adventurous adventure. And hopefully when I give my review on this, once I feel comfortable that I've done enough, hopefully I'll be giving a good review on it. So that is my preview of Destiny Rise of Iron. Next part. How did I get into Destiny? Now this is going to tie into with a tribute to a friend. Now, there was an Xbox buddy of mine. His name was Ron. I'm not going to mention his Xbox name, but his name was Ron. And him and I were friends for about two years. But within those two years, it felt like I knew him forever. We started out playing poker together. And one night, after we got to know each other a lot more, he used to talk to me about Destiny. And how he enjoyed the hell out of Destiny. And in my review, which I mentioned, and I'll even mention this myself on this video, I didn't really want to get into Destiny because people said it was an MMORPG, which I'm not a fan of MMORPGs. I tried World of Warcraft many years ago, and after three days, I was bored. And my buddy was like, no, no, try Destiny. I guarantee you will like it. So him and I made a deal. That if I got Destiny, he would get Doom. It was a done deal. I got Destiny. He got Doom. So it was a fair trade. And as time went on, I enjoyed Destiny. 
I think it's a good game. I know a lot of people are very critical about the game, but it's a type of game you either you can either give or you can take. It's that sort of thing. Now, when I bought the leg uh, the legendary edition, I got that twenty five level boost, so I was already up to level forty within like three days. Now, where this tribute comes in, unfortunately, now I may even mention this again when I do my playthrough, but unfortunately with my buddy, on January 18th of this year, he had died of a massive heart attack. He was 38 when he passed away. It took me off by complete surprise. I was, I was actually sitting on my couch watching WWE Monday Night Raw wrestling, and I received a message from his wife on my personal Facebook account saying that uh, his, his wife had messaged me saying that he had passed away. And I don't, want to really, I don't really want to get into details about it. But very sad moment. Very confusing moment because I was like, oh my god, like, what happened? Very confusing moment. Very heartbreak. And I didn't play the Xbox. Yes, I did not play my Xbox One for a good two weeks. Because I was... I felt lost. And I know my buddy Ron... I know he wouldn't want me to give up on playing video games. And come Rise of Iron, I know for a sure fact that him and I would have been playing Rise of Iron together from start to finish, just like how him and I did with the original Destiny and the Taken King. And with my buddy Ron, I know he's in a better place. And I know that he will be guiding me with Rise of Iron from start to finish. Even though he may not be here, here, but he'll be here in spirit. So for my playthrough, come this Tuesday, I'm dedicating my Rise of Iron playthrough to my good buddy Ron. And hopefully he will be by my side from start to finish. For Rise of Iron come this Tuesday. And yes, I want to mention really quick before I get on to the other news. Yes, this Tuesday I'll be doing Rise of Iron. So check me out live on Twitch on my Twitch channel. The links will be in the description box below. And hopefully you guys will follow along for the ride. And then finally, from one tribute to another... Uh, I got. I actually got back home about maybe 20 minutes ago, and I just got some surprise news that Martin Croker, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right, he was the voice actor that did uh, Zorak and Moltar from Space Ghost Coast to Coast, had passed away today at the age of 54. This is surprising news, because I remember watching Space Ghost Coast to Coast back when I was like, eight, nine years old. I remember watching Space Ghosts like it was like 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. at night on Space Go uh, on a Cartoon Network. Channel 59. Hard to believe I still remember the channel. And that show was fan-damn-tastic. It was like the late night show in cartoon form. And I remember I remember they had what was his name? Bob Denver? The one that played Gilligan on Gilligan's Island. The actress that played Marianne on Gilligan's Island. They even had, um, I believe they had Emeril Agati, uh, the cook, the chef from Emerald, for those that are into cooking shows. Uh, Dennis Larry was also on the Space Ghost. The voice actor, I believe, no, he didn't do, no, I think he was a writer or producer that did The Simpsons. Matthew, 
Matthew something. I can't remember his last name for the life of me. He was on Space Ghost. There was some famous people on Space Ghost, which at that time was very surprising. Uh, Rob Zombie, I believe, was on Space Ghost at one point. And who else? Oh, I'm trying to think of some other. J uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was on Space Ghost. And I, I even remember J uh, after The Mask, there was like that special Space Ghost Coast to Coast episode with Jim Carrey on there. Oh, God, that show was great. And Steve Croker, which I never knew his name, but yes, it, it actually says right here, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, he was also an animator creating Cartoon Network uh, promos among other projects, Adult Swim confirmed the sad news on Twitter. So yes, another infamous voice actor, another infamous person has passed away from the 90s. With Steve Croker? No, Martin, Martin. With Martin Croker, he was a good voice actor when he did Z uh, Zorak, uh, playing the piano, circle piano, Motar, he did a great job at Motar. And actually, he did not just did Space Ghost. He also voice acted uh, Motar when they did Toonami. Remember Toonami with Motar? He was like the first host. And then came that other guy, which I forgot. But very, very good actor he was. I enjoyed his work as... Oh, of course, I only knew him as... Zorak and Motar from Space Ghost. He might have did other voice acting appearances as well, but those what he was always infamously fame known for. But rest in peace to Martin Croker, and your job as Zorak and Motar will always be as legendary, especially what you and the, the voice actor that did Space Ghost brought to the table on that show. Very memorable moment. Rest in peace to Martin Croker. And with that being said, this is my update, preview, video, whatever you want to call this, of my video here. Once again, I'm going to be leaving a time thing on when I mention these parts. So if you don't want to listen to the preview, but if you want to listen to the tributes, you can go ahead and do that. Until then... I am Sonic Mix. You guys have a good night, and I will talk to you guys later.